Hello guys and welcome back to Football Manager 2023. Welcome back to the series with me, your host Dean or KGM. Hey, uh, first of all, a little bit of decoration in the background. I've stuck one of my shirts here. This, this is my wife's decoration. I'm surprised I've had no comments about this, about how that one is so much lower than that one. Oh, that's quite hard to do. Pointed things that are behind you from... <laughs> that's my wife. Don't tell her I said it's rubbish. <laughs> yeah. Uh, welcome back to Switzerland, guys. Nation number... 21 i want to say on our on our journey uh, across europe to win every top flight division in europe uh going really really well we're approximately 54 years in we've ticked 20 nations off which is not bad going really we're here in switzerland of course if you were did watch the end of the last episode you will know that we have made it to the championship playoff final uh, against sion here as the manager of grasshoppers just a quick recap in terms of the, the actual league season. We finished three points clear of Luzerne. Moved into the championship group where, again, we had a little bit of a difficult time in the championship group. But it was Sion who overcame the rest uh, to finish in second place. Luzerne dropped off really, really badly. And, of course, that led both us and Sion into the champions playoff. It's a, it's a best of three, basically. We play Sion three times in a row to determine the outcome. We've got home draw, though, in two of the games, possibly because we finished at the top, which is good. Home advantage. Of course, we did finish off the, the championship group with a disappointing 1-0 de defeat to Basel. But we don't really have too much to cap over here in this episode. So we've potentially got three games, so we're going to get into them as quickly as possible uh, and see how we get on. In terms of the lineup, it is pretty much what you've got in front of you we're going to make a couple of changes because Moretti was poor in the last game he's been poor all season I've been really disappointed with Moretti we've still got an injury to Savonin in the centre of defence and Mario Pena probably the star player from this season Mario Pena in terms of his goal output and his assists he's done really well one of our signings again cost us £750,000 he's valued around about £14 million which is really good and he's young as well he's 20 so he's had a good season. So the lineup that we're going to go with for the first game is going to be Gosling in goal. It's going to be Rosman as the right back, one of our signings in the summer. Yarosh, centre back, another one of our signings. Karels, stand in centre half for the injured Samuel Savernin. A Bauhofer at left back. Paulinho, being pretty solid. Constantino as one of the Scunda Valantes, one of our signings in the summer. Been very impressed with Constantino. He's had a, another one who's had a really good season. And he is improving, 24-year-old Cypriot. Bugman as uh, the other Segundo Volante. Guilo, Esteban and Kotowski as the front three. And we're underway to determine the champions of Switzerland. We really have to make home advantage count. And we had one win and one defeat to see on in the championship playoff group. So we've we've not done great against them, really. And they are on the attack early on inside the third minute. Rosman, great tackle, finds Guilo. Constantino gives the ball away, though. Kotowski can't get there. And now it's Nwankwu playing the ball forward. Rosman cuts it out, though, looking for Esteban. Cut out by Gashi, but Bauhoff is going to get there. Can Esteban make the run ahead of him? He can't. He, we've lost the ball. And it is still Sion bringing it forward with Hamida. Rossell goes long. That should be easy for Yarosh. And it is Constantin who helps it onto Guilo. Guilo with a little bit of room to run into. Got great control with his feet. Has Guilo. We saw that at the end of the last episode. His cross is deflected behind for a corner. It almost crept in at that near post. But Guilo himself is going to be the one who comes across to take the corner. And it's towards that near post. And Karels, it's headed clear though, but Paulinho is going to pick it up. Finds Katowski. No, it's well cut out by the defender. Another corner. We're still inside the first 10 minutes here, guys. But Guilo with the corner again towards that near post. Bugman looking to get on the end of it this time. But again, it's the same outcome. Paulinho picks it up. Guilo inside the air. It gives us the lead. Cyprian Guilo with his ninth of the season. Assisted by Sam Katowski. Great little bit of football. So inside eight minutes, we've taken the lead in this championship decider, really. 
it's a good header clear by Russell, but uh, Paulinho does well to win it. Great little ball by Katowski. Guilo gets himself on side and, and just fires it past the goalkeeper for 1-0. And we're looking to make it two almost immediately. Grillo again towards Yarosh. Yarosh, Yannick Yarosh has made it two. He gets his first goal of the season. Grillo has been fantastic so far in this game. Uh, he's not coming over to celebrate with his teammates, though. He's he's off by himself. Is it Cristiano Ronaldo over here? Oh, no, he has, he has celebrated the goal, to be fair to him. Uh, but great start for Grillo. A goal and an assist. And when you consider I brought Moretti in to replace Grillo... Uh, uh, in the summer, it, Grillo's pretty much out, outclassed him in every area. And Grillo looking to get there again. Karels, Goodman Karels, second goal of the season. It's 3 0 inside the first 24 minutes, guys, which is fantastic. And again, it's Grillo with the assist from the corner. It's it's a it's another it's a great corner, great corner. Karels rises highest goalkeeper should save that though. Really should save that, uh, but. I'm, I'm not going to complain. We're 3-0 up inside this first game in this championship playoff. And so we can just... we just, All we have to do is draw the next one. No, it's not, is it? Because it's best of three. I didn't think... No, I didn't think of that. Uh, Bugman's just got sent off, though. So that's going to make it a little bit more interesting. Uh, Lucas Bugman with a straight red card there. Two feet in. Like the commentary said, you simply can't go in uh, like that. Uh, we're just going to leave it. We're going to leave. We're going to see how they get on. Of course, it is still inside the first half, so it could be a little bit difficult. And Sion are a dangerous team. They have beaten us this season already. Uh, and they're looking to get themselves back into this. It's Rossell finding Mendy on the left-hand side. Hamida, now Mega to Frey. Nice one-touch pass in here from, C uh, from Sion. Ball over the top. Frey surely offside. Carvalho's shot is deflected anyway, and Goslin does get there. But surely Frey was offside there. But at half-time, 3-0. Great result so far. I'm disappointed that Bugman's got sent off. Sion still posing that threat though after half time. It's a, it's a long throw towards Robert Mega and he has put the ball into the back of the net. The goalkeeper got caught in no man's land a little bit there. But you can't really blame the goalkeeper. Where is the defence? There's, there's three players around him. Uh, not one of them has attempted to make any kind of challenge or to cut the ball out there uh, and see on do get one back. And now we've picked up an injury to a centre-half, a position in which we're short in anyway. We're going to have to rely on Flores, who has not played a lot of football for us this season. Uh, you can tell he's not the best of players because he can play absolutely anywhere on the middle, up the middle of the pitch. I've seen worse in this save in in our teams, so hopefully he can uh, he can do the job. Getting towards the final twenty minutes now, and thankfully it's Grasshopper's come forward with the ball. Rossell does clear it though. Frey can't get there. Flores does win it, but only as far as Noankwanu. Now Carvalho, Frey. In to Gashi. Gashi looking to take the ball around the right hand side. Now Esteban's got sent off. Oh my god, what are we doing? What are we doing, boys? What are we doing? Uh, that's that's just shocking. We're gonna we're gonna drop Guilo a little bit deeper. In fact, we're gonna bring him off because it's not his position. We're gonna get Stojakovic on. The young man. I know Grillo's had a great game, but we're down to nine men now. Uh, so we, we need to protect our lead. Like I said, our home form is going to be crucial in this. Uh, and Sion will be looking to press the advantage, the two man advantage they've got now. Constantino gets that clear. Mendy, though, Mega, the goal scorer, feeding the ball forward towards Hamida. Hamida into Frey. We've done well, really well. Flores to cut that out. Uh, and we just need to calm down a little bit now. Goslin goes long, but he's only got Kotowski to aim for. No, Kotowski's got there. The goalkeeper's out of his area. Sam Kotowski makes it 4-1. 20th goal of the season. Shocking defending from Sion. They've got one man to marshal up there. And between them, it's a great clearance by Gosselin as well, by the way. Great pass. Between the three of the defenders there and the goalkeeper, not one of them could get to Kotowski. And nine 
man grasshoppers have, have bagged the fourth goal against Sion, which is fantastic. We can't make it five, can we? Paulinho, surely not. Towards Katowski at that back post. No, they've managed to clear it. And now we need to get back. Uh, Silla is all by himself, though. That comes back to Mendy. We've sort of regrouped a little bit now. Back down the line towards Silla. Stojakovic, the young man there, getting back. Yarosh, Konstantinou to Paulinho. Flores, nice. Just control the ball, guys. Keep it calm. Not do that. <coughs> as, as Mendy finds Gashi on the right-hand side. Gashi coming forward with the ball. He's got the number 12 ahead of him. Which I don't know who the number 12 is. But they come inside instead to Silla. Silla with the ball towards Mega. Looking for his second of the game. And he gets his second of the game. Robert Mega gets his seventh of the season. And his second goal of this game to give Sion a little bit of a lifeline with 15 minutes remaining. Uh, have we got a bit of poor defending going on here? Is it just a really good ball? It's a good ball. Uh, I think that's Rosman. It is Rosman. It's just let, the, let him run off him a little bit. But it was a good pass there by Silla. Paulinho, though, with this corner towards that near bit. It's a poor corner. We've missed those corners from Grillo. They do get the ball away, but Rosman gets there, finds Paulinho again. Comes back to Rosman. Yarosh. All the way back to Gosselin in goal. Finds Flores to Yarosh again. This is good. Just keep hold of the ball. That's, I'm fine with that. Keep hold of the ball. Gosselin feeding Rosman on the right-hand side. They're starting to put the pressure on now, though, so we're going to have to look to get up the pitch. Paulinho finds Constantinou. Great football. Constantinou, that's shocking. Shocking. Rossell cuts it out nicely. Uh, now Gashi. To bring the ball over the halfway line. He's faced up. But Frey's all by himself down the right hand side. Gets the ball into the box. And Silla has got another one back for Sion. Two minutes after they scored the last one. Uh, this. Uh, uh, the nine men's really starting to hamper us now in this game. We need to hold on to this win. Gosselin goes along with the goal kick. Can Kotovsky win it? He can't. But Konstantinou gets there. Now Stojakovic. Paulinho looking to feed Kotovsky. He's going to get there as well. Inside the penalty area. Pulls it across to Stojakovic. Stojakovic with the effort. He's hit the crossbar. He's hit the crossbar. Oh, what a goal that would have been for the young man. We are we're hanging on here though, guys. By a thread. Six minutes of injury. Oh, no. Gosselin, thank you. Thank you so much for saving that. He's so calm as well about it. Just keep keep hold keep hold of it. Katowski's not going to get there. He's not going to get that. He's ducked out the way of the ball. Now Rossell, this is the equaliser for Sion, guys. I can see it coming. Mega, Rossell, Stojakovic. Now Mega down the line. We've, they've got him behind us down the line too many times. Silla inside the area. It's, oh. He's put it over. Don't ask me how we've held on. We have held on, though. We have held on. We did not deserve to win that game. But thankfully, we've scored four. So it's advantage to grasshoppers. And just confirmation. After that first game of three, it is advantage to grasshoppers. Three points. One goal difference. Obviously, we go to see on in the next game. I think it's seven days away. Hopefully, we've got Mario Pena back by then and Savonin. Uh, so, I'll catch up with you guys in just a minute.
Right guys, welcome back to game two. Uh, we've got a couple of players back from injury, thankfully. It's because we do have two suspensions, of course. We picked up an injury in that last game as well. So we welcome back Savanin and Peña for this game. The other change we've made is we've brought Stojakovic in for the suspended Lucas Bugman. So we just need to pick up a win here, a way to see on, and we will be the champions of Switzerland. One good bit of news I've noticed in the starting lineups, guys, is that Silla, who played very well against us in the last game, is, is he's been benched for whatever reason. So that's good. Also, the goal scorer from the last game, Mega, I believe. I can't see him. He's been benched as well. He scored twice against us in the last game. Hopefully, that's a good thing. Never good when you get a kickoff highlight like though. It's good. To, it is us with the ball, but it's going to be overturned. It's going to be Sion coming forward. Of course, they have to go for this. Uh, Rosman is getting towards the byline though. Tries to get the cross in. It's blocked. Constantinou picks it up. It's Rosman again. Comes inside to Paulinho. Constantinou. Ball clipped towards Peña at the back post. Kit Banyong, uh, Kit Banyong comes out and claims that one quite well. Now, this is where Sion go down the other end and score. Rosman wins the header though, but the, Mendy has won it. And now it's Hamida coming forward for Sion. Comes back to Mendy. Back, Mendy gets the ball again. Mendy's seen a lot of ball early on for Sion. Great switch of play. Inside the penalty area, Peña tackling back. He's not quite fit. Oh, he's lost the ball. I told you. I, I knew it. I knew, do you know what, right? When you, when you, however many hours into football manager I am, it is so predictable. I just knew that I, I knew that Penny did really well. And then what's he doing? I knew as soon as I had a kickoff highlight, Sion were going to score. We need to get back into this now. No one has fouled Mario Pena though. Is he going to get a yellow card? Is it going to be Sion's turn to get a couple of players sent off? No, he's got off with a warning. Of course he has. Uh, it's just my players who get sent off. Uh, Penny to take the free kick though. It's towards Savinin at the back post. Oh, Katowski. Katowski, you little beauty. Gets his 21st goal of the season. Uh, and inside the first three and a half minutes, guys, it's one all. <laughs> it's one all. Which is... Yeah, hopefully there's not some fans down there having a beer still before the game starts. Because they've just missed uh, they've missed two goals. Sion coming forward again though, it's Carvalho with the ball. Uh, no, no one crew looking forward, Hamida's going to get there. No, Konstantin wins it, Stojakovic, good ball across to Grilo. I, the, did you see the ball magnet towards the Sion player there? Uh, Grilo, after a good tackle though, has got the ball, but again, we've lost it. And now Yarosh wins the header, Stojakovic looking to get Grilo away and down this right-hand side. He's not quite that quick. Uh, Mendy does clean up. Yarosh though, back to Gosselin. A little bit of calmness, boys. I said it in the first game as well. Just need to remain calm. Gosselin, that's not calm. Luckily, it hits Stojakovic. And now we have got the ball out to the right-hand side. And Grilo, who played very well in that first game. Constantinou through the legs of his opponent. Grilo gets the ball again. He's tackled, though. It's too easy. Constantinou wins it back. And, and again, Constantinou. Yes! Kyriakos Constantinou with only his third goal of the season. But what good battling there by the Cypriot to, to at least get the opportunity to put the ball in the back of the net. He's done really well. Grilo lost out, but uh, Constantinou straight in. Good tackle. Good tackle. And a little dinker of the goalkeeper as well to finish it off. It's absolutely fantastic. And we've taken the lead. And that would, as things stand, bring the titles to Grasshopper. Stojakovic, though, with the ball. Constantinou again. The referee, get out the way, ref. Grilo. He's got Rosman outside of him. Rosman. He's got, we've got five five shirts heading towards the ball. Constantinou. Kotovsky to make it 3-1. Get in, boys. <laughs> this is this is great football. Great football by 
grasshoppers. And uh, after Football Manager being really predictable and as conceded in the first minute, we have bounced back brilliantly. Thirty-six on the clock. Mega with the free kick. Savinland just boots it clear. Pena's going to get there as well. Mario Pena, of course, like I say, not quite fully fit. Still coming back from his injury. Savinland finds Pena again. Pena comes back to Balhoffer. Has to come inside though to Paulinho. Paulinho. Oh, I thought we were getting another red card there. Uh, Savinland finds Yarosh. Ball forward towards Grillo. Looking to do his man. Mendy's done well to win the tackle. Constantinou comes flying in, uh, but it is. See on come away with the ball. Pena again tracking back. Paulinho, Balhoffer down the line towards Pena. Pena to Paulinho back towards Pena. Can he make it four? He's put the ball in the back of the net. Is it offside? If this is four one, guys, this is absolutely brilliant before half time. Come on, VAR. Yes, get in. VAR. VAR. For the I love VAR. Love it. Uh, this is a really good fall forward by... Uh, who's offside? Why was the need for the VAR there? But Pena was a mile onside. So after conceding in the first minute, guys, we have bounced back absolutely fantastically. And at half-time, we lead 4-1. Sion are still dangerous though. Of course, we were up in that first game and now it's Fry coming forward with the ball. He's took it past a couple of people already. Pulls it back for Carvalho. Can Carvalho get his effort away? Good save by Gosselin and Fry's hit the post. Hasn't even hit the target. He was offside anyway, so it wouldn't have mattered. Uh, but it was a good save by Gosselin to, to keep the score down to the one for Sion. And we're 35 minutes away from being the champions. But like I said, Sion do still pose a threat. Mega finds Mendy. Rossell with the ball forward. That should be easy for Osman. Uh, he's made it a lot harder than it needs to be. And he's actually not even got to the ball. Mendy finds Hamida to Dieguez. Mega. Nwankwu. Ball forward over the top. Seven and leave it for Gosselin. We've, we've somehow got it away. Now it's Guilo to Kotowski. Paulinho. Konstantinou. Back to Stojakovic. Ball forward looking for Kotowski. But it's cut out and Savinin mops up finding Paulinho now Stojakovic to Pena Paulinho again ball forward over the top towards Bauhoff who's got him behind them here Bauhoff pulls it across for Stojakovic inside the area can he pull it across for Kotowski Pena gets there they've somehow managed to scramble the ball away Twenty minutes to go before we're the champions, and again, see on the go close. But we're we're holding on here, guys. We're we're holding on to the win, and to the championship. And we're looking to extend our lead. Actually, it's Pena with the corner towards that near post, headed clear by Rossell. Verne helps it further on, but it's going to fall at the feet of Pena. Can he get an effort away? He can. He's hit the post. The goalkeeper saved it actually, onto the post. Uh, a good save there by the goalkeeper. But Pena is going to take the resulting corner himself. Again, towards Savinan and that appeared near post. Nwankwu heads it away. Verne gets there again. But again, the ball's ended up with grasshoppers. Now Stojakovic, Savinan. No, we're not going to get the effort away there, unfortunately. Ten minutes to go. I need to start thinking about getting the sheet up in a minute. Pena with the free kick. Constantinou's just over the top for us. There's no way they're going to score four goals. In the next three minutes. Surely not. Surely not. Rosman finds Aguilo. Checks back. It's tackled by Nwankwu. But Aguilo's done well. Now inside the area. Gets it across towards Pena. It's a tame effort by Pena in the end. Uh, and Kip and Yang does pick that one up. Three minutes of injury time to go though guys. And we are the champions of Switzerland. And there it is. For the first time in a few nations. We get the uh, the championship presentation. Uh, and it is a grasshoppers to win the title. In our first full season here, of course, we, I think we made some shrewd, shrewd signings along the way. Of course, Moretti's been a little bit of a letdown. 
Uh, but the rest of them, Pena in Constantino in particular, have been absolutely fantastic. The two defenders we added as well in Rosmond and Yarosh have been really good. Uh, but Grasshoppers are the Swiss, Swiss Super League champions of 2076. <laughs> 2076, which is absolutely brilliant. <clears throat> so just a quick confirmation there that we are the champions of course we we still do have to play Sion again obviously we don't need to do that in the episode now because because we are the champions just quick overview of top scorers Katowski's on 21 now which is great uh, of course these guys are still playing in in the quarterfinals and and such of the European places playoffs so the, there is the opportunity for uh, for him to be overtaken. I can't see it happening though because he's six goals better off. Most player of the match awards as well. Pena with 11 assists. So we have done really well this season. Of course, we need to get the sheet up. And here is the sheet. <laughs> Sorry again if the screen suddenly went bright there, guys. <laughs> it's the same for me. It's really bright in my eyes as well. I've made it a little bit easier for us to see what we've completed. The, obviously, the ones in green we are completed. That is nation number 21 now uh, of Switzerland complete, which is really, really good. Uh, I don't know how Google Sheets works. Here we go. That color will do. So Switzerland's complete, which means we now have... How many is that? 11 left. 11 left. So Belgium is the next up. We're going to have a quick preview of Belgium as well while we're here. Uh, yeah, so, you know, it's been another another fantastic season uh, for us in Switzerland. Hopefully we get straight into the Gilles Pro League in Belgium. Uh, Club Bruges are the champions again. It's been very... It's been a lot of Club Bruges, but Anderlecht are in there, Antwerp are in there, Genk have won one, Genk are the runners-up last two years in a row, uh, so hopefully there's a job becomes available pretty much straight away. Their season's just ended as well. Uh, they look like they have the similar league to, to Switzerland. Obviously, they don't have the Champions playoff at the end, but they have a league table, and then it splits off into a couple of groups by the looks of it. Okay, we'll have a proper look over when we get ourselves into Belgium. Uh, but yeah, guys, in terms of today's episode, we have reached the champions of Switzerland and um, we've ticked 21 nations off now moving into nation number 22 Swiss Super League champions of 2076 uh, guys thank you very much for being here as always it's been an absolute pleasure please remember to hit that thumbs up button for me we have ticked another nation off today which is obviously cause for celebration remember hit the subscribe button as well if you want to come back and see how we get on in Belgium as well uh, but for now guys I've been Dean your host and I'll see you all in the next episode so catch you later guys